Okay, so same idea in this uh, topic of adding and subtracting rational functions. You want to first factor, then state restrictions, and then you want to simplify. When you're adding or subtracting uh, rational functions, you do need to make a common denominator, which is the difference between the last topic. So I'm going to start by stating my restrictions first, so x cannot equal to 0. Then I'm going to make a common denominator between these two, so I have to multiply the top and bottom here by 7x. And over here, I have to multiply the top and bottom by 4. Okay, so 5 times 7x is 35x. 1 times 4 is 4. And then my bottom is just a common denominator now because they're both exactly the same, so I can combine them. 4 times 7 is 28. And x squared times x is just x cubed. That pretty much is my final solution in this one. Same idea in this one. I have to multiply the top and bottom here by 5x minus 1. And over here I have to multiply the top and bottom by x minus 3. Oh, before I do that, I should state my restrictions though. So my first restriction is x is not equal to 3. And my second restriction is 1 over 5. Okay, so now I have a common denominator of x minus 3, 5x minus 1. And in the top, I have 3 times 5x minus 1 minus 7 times x minus 3. I'm going to expand my top. You only need to expand the top. You can just leave the bottom the same. So 3 times 5x is 15x minus 3. That's minus 7x plus 21 bottoms still the same and now I can combine like terms in the top 15x minus 7x is just 8x negative 3 plus 21 is plus 18 bottom still remains the same so that right there is my final solution you can factor the top if you want to but it's not necessary I like to just leave it like this Okay, same idea in this one here. I want to start by factoring in this case. So I have 5 over x minus 3, x minus 1, minus 9 over x minus 1, x minus 1, or x minus 1 whole squared. You can write it either way. Uh, I'm going to leave it like this for now. So next I'm going to state my restrictions. So x cannot equal to 1 or 3. And now I'm going to make my common denominator. So over here, I have to multiply the top and bottom by x minus 1. And here, I have to multiply the top and bottom by x minus 3 because those are the only differences. So that is going to give me a common denominator of x minus 3 and then x minus 1. I could write it twice, but I'm just going to write it with the square in this step. My top is now going to be 5x minus 1 minus 9x minus 3 and I have to just simplify the top right there so that's 5x minus 5 minus 9x plus 27 bottom still stays the same x minus 3 x minus 1 squared and now I'm just going to combine the like terms in the top so that's negative 4x plus 22 over x minus 3 x minus 1 whole squared and again you could factor the top but I like to leave it like that okay same idea on the next one just a bit of harder factoring but basically I have a minus 1 over a minus 3 a minus 5 minus a minus 2 over that's just going to be a minus 5, 2a plus 1. Okay, once you have it factored again, we're going to state the restrictions on the side. So a cannot equal to 3, 5, don't have to repeat 5 and then negative 1 over 2. So those are my three restrictions. 
now I'm gonna make my common denominator a minus 5 is the same so I have to multiply the top and bottom here by a minus 3 and here I gotta multiply the top and bottom by 2a plus 1 okay so now I have a common denominator a minus 3 a minus 5 2a plus 1 and in the top I have a minus 1 these are factors now so make sure you include the brackets minus a minus 2 a minus 3 now you just have to expand the top combine like terms and that's gonna be my solution so when you expand the top you're using foil so 2a square plus a minus 2a minus 1 minus a square minus 3a minus 2a plus 6 and the bottom is just going to be the same so a minus 3 a minus 5 2a plus 1 Okay, I'm going to simplify that on another page. Let's continue it right here just because I didn't have the space. Okay, so now I'm just going to simplify the top again and get rid of my brackets. I'm also going to combine like terms in the brackets. So 2a square minus a minus 1 and here I have minus a square so those two combine to give you negative 5a with the negative sign it's plus 5a and then minus 6 bottom is still the same it's gonna put dot 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 for this step don't want to write it again then I'm gonna finally combine my like terms so that's a square plus 4a minus 7 over a minus 3 a minus 5 2a plus 1 and that right there is my final solution for this question okay and last one number five this one combines a bit of division and addition as well so combining the previous topic and this topic now according to bed mass you always want to do division first so I'm going to start with flipping that divide into a multiply. I'm also going to factor. So that's 2x minus 3. Turn this into a multiply. 2 minus x over 2x plus 1 square plus 11 over x minus 2. Okay, now I'm going to state restrictions. Since I flipped this one, I have to state restrictions on the top and bottom of this. So over there, x is not equal to 3. Over here, it's 2 and negative 1, and then this is 2, but I don't have to repeat that, so those are my three restrictions. I'm going to start uh, simplifying. So since this is a multiply, I can cancel that x plus 1 and this square. So I'm left with 2 minus x over 4 x minus 3 x plus 1 okay now this is a bit of a hard common denominator I have to multiply all of this on the top and bottom here so 4 x minus 3 x plus 1 and again all of it on the top and bottom over here as well 4 x minus 3 x plus 1 and then I got to do the same for this. I got to multiply the top by x minus 2 and the bottom by x minus 2. So now I have a common denominator of 4x minus 3, x plus 1, x minus 2. And in the top I have 2 minus x, x minus 2 plus 44x minus 3, x plus one. I'm going to start by simplifying the top and following that out. So that's 2x minus 4 minus x square plus 2x
plus 44 x square minus 3x plus x minus 3 bottom I'm just gonna write as dot 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 so now I'm gonna combine like terms in the top over here so that's in a bracket 2x 2x is 4x so negative x square plus 4x minus 4 plus 44 x square minus 2x minus 3 so I combine my like terms now I can get rid of my brackets so this one's negative x square plus 4x minus 4 that's plus 44x square minus 88x minus 1 3 2 and finally I'm gonna combine like terms again I'm gonna do that on another page do it right here so negative x square plus 44 that's 43 x square minus 84x minus 136 and then the denominator is just the same 4x minus 3 x plus 1 x minus 2 and that is my final solution